The governor's mansion is a long way from where First Lady Yumi Hogan came. And every morning I get up, I always thank God, thank for, you know, for me, this little girl, chicken farm, I grew up countryside. That rural chicken farm in South Korea is still very much with her, not just in her heart. Some of them my memory, some of them my hometown. But in her paintings, too. They hang in the governor's mansion, one of the quiet ways she makes her mark as the country's first Korean-born first lady. So I'm very proud of my heritage. That pride is one of the reasons Yumi Hogan is receiving the Ellis Island Medal of Honor. The medal has been officially recognized by both houses of Congress as one of the nation's most prestigious awards. It celebrates patriotism, tolerance, and diversity. Pretty soon, Mrs. Hogan will leave Annapolis and head up to New York City to receive the Ellis Island Medal of Honor. She's received awards before, but she says this one is particularly special. Well, I'm so honored. I'm very grateful. In a house full of tradition. This is our private place. The First Lady gave us a glimpse into some of the more personal spaces in the governor's mansion, rooms that hold memories to some of the most meaningful moments long before her husband became governor 13 years ago and after yeah. like when pope francis blessed larry hogan on behalf of all cancer patients she says that was a difficult time but painting helped it ignited a new passion for the first lady art therapy during the cancer treatment i met pediatric patients and their families that community service and continuing to promote cultural diversity all part of her life as First Lady. Very important, you who you are. In Annapolis, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News.